Well, good morning everybody, and we are having coffee this morning in my vintage camper. And as you can see, it is hot. I did not set my hair today. I thought it is just way too hot for that. And um, I don't know what the lighting's going to be like or if I'm centered or whatever, but um, I'm here. So, yes, and I am having coffee, even though it's like blustering hot out, it's like a coffee, but it's not hot. I brewed it this morning, I unplugged it, so it's just kind of tempered. I don't like cold coffee, um, but I do like room temperature coffee, and that's just fine. I need some coffee. I need to get, I don't know if it's going to hydrate me too terribly much. So, anyway, I thought I'd have coffee with you in my little vintage camper. Um, oh, it was just, just an oven in here when um, I got up, oh, when was it, about nine? I think I got up early when my husband left for work, and then um, kind of went outside and picked some stuff up. And the neighbor lady, Pam, was really sweet and helped pick up a lot of stuff tin cans and it was all over her yard too and stuff because her yard adjoins where the um the slot is so that was really nice of her um so she picked that up and i did that and then, oh i'm just gonna lay down for another hour or two and by the time i woke up oh lord it was hot in here i woke up and it was like the first time i woke up i thought oh it's nice out and it wasn't too hot when i woke up the second time i don't know it was somewhere between 9 and 9 30 in there it was like i was laying there like it is hot you know you didn't have that nice fresh um i just woke up feeling it was just like oh lord i went and hit the shower right away and i did not set my hair um if i put it in rollers and use my motion setting lotion in it i don't think it would dry today and i will not be sitting under a dryer yesterday it did um dryer i set it at home in the morning and i was in air conditioning all day and time i got down here um i thought oh i was gonna start getting damp again but it was fine i just took out my curls and i didn't even like um I going to do the cute little 70s hairdo. I just took out my rollers and sprayed the heck out of them and um, left it as is. Left or be because I just thought, what are you going to do? If you try, like comb it out, you're going to lose your curl. So um, I just went for a curly look and I stuck these little um, old vintage their kid barrettes in my hair and put two um, flowers. It kind of looks silly, but I don't care. <laughs> I just thought whatever stays cool and won't flop and oh my makeup was running off and all oh, it was hot this morning i thought just because i don't like to have coffee without um a little bit of makeup on um i have really bad um rosacea and a little bit of um, um adult acne and stuff and i don't i'm not comfortable i mean if i was like one of those makeup gals who did their makeup and showed her out but i'm not i'm so i just put a little bit of base and stuff on a little eyeshadow and powder and it's already starting to slide off i didn't put any base primer on but if i put some primer on it's just gonna go even though they say those primers um they help make the makeup stick which they do um i think you gotta use like some type of like stick them humidity fixative spray to get it stay because a lot of those primers are silicone based so i kind of um have my eye out i'm trying to look for something since i do have um, a little bit of oily skin now it's like worse than when i was a teenager i don't know what the heck i thought i made it through all my teenage years i never really had anything except for um some pimples here or there but not really any acne and now at this time of my life is when I'm getting my acne. So I'm like, I don't know, hormones. So um, I'm trying to find a primer that um, isn't, uh, doesn't have silicone in it and um, is oil free and stuff. And there's tons of them out there, but they're so expensive. And I know that um, they have them in the drugstore too, and some of them are okay. So I'm just like watching the YouTube videos like everybody else does and trying to um, find something that will work for me, you know, that. Um, make the makeup stay and it won't make me break out and won't clog my pores and just like just like all, all you girls you know you have makeup that you use your whole life but then when you um your skin changes and stuff something that's been tried and true that you've loved all those years you gotta give up because it doesn't work anymore because your skin doesn't stay the same so anyway i don't know why i got off on that tangent yes i do because my makeup's melting off and if you'll excuse me i am gonna <laughs> i've got this little washcloth that I throw in the freezer, in the camper, and it cools it down, oh, and I put it on my neck, because it's warm, and I don't like to be warm. Oh, Lord, the heat you've heard never used to bother me as much as it now is now, and I don't know if you just tolerate it when you're younger and stuff, and when you get older, you just don't want to tolerate it anymore, or it's just harder on you because you're older. Either or, I don't like that humid weather. We don't usually get too much of it here in Wisconsin, but usually July and August are like the hottest, awfulest months for humidity and heat because you know other parts of the country you know when we went to vegas it was really hot and you know the heat did get to me a little bit but it wasn't like you didn't feel like you were wrung out because you go out here and you you can't even like dry off you take a shower 
and dry off and you don't, you're not even dry. And you kind of have to just like try to get your clothes to go on you because everything's sticky and sticky and I have like antiperspirant and powdered everywhere that I possibly can trying to get my clothes just to smooth over my body so I can get them on. Um, I couldn't imagine wearing pantyhose. Oh, I remember back in the day, back in the 80s and even the 90s, everybody wore pantyhose no matter what you do, you had a summer dress on or whatever, you always had pantyhose on. I couldn't imagine doing it. I, I'll wear tights in the winter, but I would never in a million years, ever, even though they make, you know, they make your legs look nicer. I'll wear my, um, my under my dress of lady stuff, but I will never wear those nylons again. Oh, Lord. You can put a, if your legs aren't perfect or whatever, you know, you just put a little bit, little trick, you know, you just put a little bit of, um, your foundation makeup to cover up any, if you'd have spider veins or varicose veins or little spots or whatever on your legs, smooth that over and you're fine. You know, it covers up and smooths and your um, blemishes. Of course, it doesn't hold everything so it's nice and firm. But at a certain point in the life, you don't think you look here anymore like me. <laughs> you try to look nice or whatever, but comfort is the big thing. Um, I remember being uncomfortable in whatever just so your outfit looked the best. And I'll still, you know, wear my um, under lady stuff, of course, but I kind of have to point that here I am and this is what it is and if you don't like it, don't look at it. <laughs> but I don't think I'm the only person of my age category that's in that boat. You know, it is what it is, I guess. So the party went, got off on like girly stuff, sorry about that. Um, so the party went awesome last night and then my husband um, doesn't carry the Galliano in his um, at his uh, liquor store, so we, he had a special order. It went coming on time, so I just thought we'll pick up some in town, and I bought the big one. Um, it's in my little video, so you'll have to look at the um, little cocktail video. Um, but he goes, people aren't going to drink those Harvey Wallbangers, and you're going to have it stuck with that whole bottle of Galliano, just like most bars do when they buy the Galliano. You'll see it in, when you look at in a, a bar or an establishment, you'll see all their liquors in the back, you know, and the Galliano will be in the shelf that's way in the back and sticking up high, and it's usually three quarters gone it will probably be that way for years because maybe one or two people come in and ask for a drink with it. I don't know what other drinks are other than harder wall you make with them. Um, and then there the bottle will sit for everybody because somebody insisted on having a hardy wall banger. But the whole bottle's gone. Harvey Wallbangers were a big hit. Everybody loved them. You know, it's a vodka orange juice and then a little bit of Galliano on top. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like it. But I thought I want to do it because it's a the theme. Um, I don't think I was going to like it. And I like screwdrivers and stuff. But I don't like um, black licorice tasting stuff like Sambuco and um, Nagermeister and stuff. So I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like it. Well, Galliano's different because it it is a vanilla very, very light licorice um, flavor with some herb flavors to it, but not like, blech, you know, like Jägermeister, unless you like Jägermeister, sorry. Oh, ugh, I don't like that. Or some buco, I'll drink that too. Um, for a little after dinner sippy thing or put it in your coffee, that's good. But I want that would be it. Just one little bit of some buco is enough for me, but it's very smooth. Um, oh my God, they were delicious. They kind of tasted like um, a dream sickle without the cream in it, you know, which is, oh Lord, I'm trying to think what's in Dreamsicle. I think it's um, vanilla, Dr. McGillicuddy's, and orange juice, and cream, or half and half, or milk, or something like that. There might be something else in there. I don't know. I haven't bartended for a little while, and when I bartend, I usually do the specialty cocktails when I go down and have a list in a recipe book. Um, but I think that's what that is. But it tasted very much, if you would have put a little psh, splash of cream or something, it would have been just like a Dreamsicle. It went, that whole great big huge bottle of Galliano was um, gone. Um, everybody kind of started dispersing, I think around 11 o'clock. Um, it started, well of course everybody was here when we got here at 5, or when I got here at 5. People were just milling around and I got everything together and it kind of kicked off a little bit soon. I didn't start my first record until 7 o'clock. Um, but, and I think, yeah, I think it must have been about 11 people kind of um, started filtering out. That's kind of the, excuse me, I need to, oh lord. The papers. <laughs> um, started m milling out about 11 because it's kind of the quiet time in the park, and we're kind of like right in the middle of everything. Down, kind of by the horses, too, so you don't want it too noisy down there. So everybody kind of went over to Genius Place, and she's way down at the end, kind of in a little cul de sac. So they can be out and kind of be a little bit boisterous and um, whatnot and have fires. And, and I was done. Oh, I can't, like I said, I can't take the heat. So picked up a little bit of stuff last night. Like I said, um, it was really nice and helped this morning. Um, went to bed, had a good night's sleep, and I think my husband um, 
wasn't too much shortly after I was, I mean, I was, I lay down and it was cool enough in the camper and had my fan and closed my eyes and I usually have such an awful time. I suppose it was because I had a few cocktails. I had a couple in the afternoon, just two, because it's not good to be tuned up when you're getting ready or something. And then, um, of course, when the party started and everything was kind of set and whatever, then I feel, when I feel comfortable that everything's all ready to go with everything and stocked up and everybody's starting to get their drinks and then I'll start having a few cocktails. So I had a few Harvey Wolbangers and myself. They were delicious. It's kind of, you feel like you're getting something nutritious because it's orange juice too. <laughs> so, um, this morning I got up and did all that, cleaned up everything and then I set out stuff for mimosas so everybody could come over and have mimosas, which is just orange juice and champagne, which is very light and refreshing in the, um, I thought, oh, maybe nobody's going to want the mimosas after all the Harvey Wolbangers last night. But no, people are having mimosas. Not very many people. It's hot. A lot of people are staying in their air-conditioned, um, central aired RVs. Really nice couple, and I don't have this piece of paper. Um, was walking down the road, and I said, "Hey, stop in. We're having." I was still in my my jam, was sitting under the tree in the shade, um, having a ham sandwich. So we have almost a stop, and um, they're really nice and came in. Then I got to talk to them. They're just from up in the cities here, St. Paul, Minneapolis area. Um, really nice couple, and they're tenting it. Oh Lord, and they said they just laid there and the um, sweat just rolled off them last night. It felt so bad, you know, it wasn't too bad in here, it cooled it down. But they said it was really hot and they kind of went into town, did a little bit of um, sightseeing and stuff. And I know, I'm looking out the window again. <laughs> um, and we exchanged stuff on, um, well, Facebook, and, but he's got a 69, oh Lord, I forget the name of the car, 69 something. And um, so he's kind of interested in coming down to the old car show that is... Um, next June, which we're trying to do a little camper rally with too. So he said they, they would come down for that, which would be nice. Um, so it's been a great weekend and I'm feeling great. And I hope my husband's having a good day at work over there. He should be getting off about 4 or 4.30 with um, sending, or he sent him with an empty cooler so he can restock our ice because it's melting. That ice is out there and it's like, just melting to be nothing. So um, thanks for having coffee with me this morning. And did I show you my mug? I might have. I started talking so much, but it's one of my little anthropomorphic mugs that match all my drapes. So you can see them in the background and all my other stuff that I have in here. Um, so I'm enjoying my coffee and um, everybody's, the golf cart sort of starting to cruise around and everybody's starting to up and at them. I think I might go down to the creek and go wait in. I was going to bring my swimming suit, but I forgot it. Um, I don't think I'd want to get completely drenched anyway. Then it will take a shower for trout feel good anyway. But I'd go waiting because it's a nice um, spring-fed creek. Hay creek. Um, so it'd be feel good, won't it, just to wade in that uh, nice cold water. Maybe even hike up my dress and get thigh high in it just to cool off. I look, I'll probably fall over and slip. I'm kind of klutzy that way. Thanks for having coffee with me. Um, we'll have coffee next weekend up at um, the lake. I think I'm going to make it up there. I was going to, but if it is like this, I will not be going to the lake. Like I said, I didn't think this weekend was going to be like this. Um, so if it's like this, I'll just stay home in air conditioning and get some stuff done. So um, this might be the last time. Only We only had her out twice this year, um, which I'm kind of sad about. Um, there's something, a wedding or something come up. We'll see if Gary can get off for that. That, I guess, is in Frontenac, which is 20 minutes from here. And those people are campground people. So they said anybody from the campground that goes to the wedding front and after they're going to bus, they're going to have a bus shuttle that will pick you up here and then take you over to the wedding and then bring you on back. Um, so we might be doing that in September, just a little day trip though for that. We won't be doing a cocktail party or anything, we'll just be enjoying the wedding like everybody else. So have a great week and I will either see you at the lake or I will be seeing you um, at home. I think it might be at home though. Oh. <laughs> and uh, take care until next time we have coffee again.